Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. After stuffing our faces with seasonal delicacies, let's get back to business. Two weeks ago, we spoke about the general types of film scoring, orchestral, electronic, and hybrids. Today, we're discussing the different levels of film scoring, or more specifically, the difference between thematic and non-thematic music. These two levels of scoring can help to increase the quality of your film by how it's perceived emotionally and psychologically, one level more so than the other. Let me explain. Let's start with non-thematic music, music that does not contain melodies and or instruments that follow key concepts in a film story, such as stock music and or music written by composers who are not proficient in or familiar with thematic writing. Most of the time, these types of music can be used to emotionally support a scene. In other words, help viewers to understand emotionally what is happening visually. For example, joyful music during a reunion, suspenseful music during a monster-led chase, or quirky music during a comedic interaction. You get the idea. However, what this level of music lacks is the opportunity for your viewer to follow you a story beyond what he or she sees. Cue in thematic scoring, music that contains melodies and or instruments that not only follow key points of your story, but also help to convey the underlying messages. This is the level of scoring you want because it can be used to immortalize your film. Every time we hear the themes of Indiana Jones, Jaws, Back to the Future, Pirates of the Caribbean, Braveheart, and every other classic film score, we remember the stories associated with them. These next few weeks, I will explain how and why efficient thematic scoring can give your film everlasting life or at least until movies are no longer accessible. There is a science to film scoring, which I hope to reveal to you in the weeks ahead. If you only wish to use the score to tell your viewers how to feel during a moment in your film, then continue using stock music or non-thematic music. But if you want to immortalize your film and take it to the next level to be remembered as one of the classics, then find a composer who can successfully write and use compelling themes to tell your story and reveal its deeper purpose. In the meantime, tune in next week as we get into the nitty-gritty of how themes are used to tell stories and psychologically immerse viewers into a film's fictional or non-fictional world. Ciao for now!